Yeah, we found us something down there. Oh, we got a fish. We got a fish, guys. Freaking toad fish. Ah, not what I wanted. But first fish of the day, toady toady. This guy's called an oyster toad fish. He's got little horns on top of his head. Uh, I read that they're supposed to be toxic. But, woo, big old fat guy, see ya. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. I want to catch a sheep's head. I'm out here on the inlet today. I'm an Old Town Sportsman, Autopilot 120, targeting sheep's head, pompano, black drum, whatever I can catch. That's what I usually catch here. See if we got any out here. It's pretty much a slack tide right now. Anyway, that's the plan. Let's do it. A big sheep's head right there. Autopilot 120 can handle it, baby. Oh yeah, we got sheeps here. I can see them down there. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. There we go. Fish on. Snappers. Little mangrove snapper. See ya. There we go. There we go. That's a good one. There we go. There's our sheeper. Whoa. There's our sheeper. That's the one we've been looking for right there. He looks like he's a keeper sheeper. Nice. Got him on a piece of shrimp. Shrimpy, shrimpy. That's the way to go, JC. 12 and a half, baby. Nice. You guys are new to the channel. I absolutely love catching sheep's head. <laughs> it's that time of year. So guys, I like to take my shrimp. These are live shrimp. I take, I break them in thirds or in halves, depending on how big they are. Put them on the hook. That guy is still alive, but I think it just adds extra scent and uh, the sheep's head are attracted to them. When you break the shrimp off, it makes it a little smaller profile. You know, maybe they, they think it's a, a little crab or something. I don't know. Anyway, sheep's head like them that way. I'm going to give it a drop right here. See if we got any black drum or sheep's head in the, in the area. Just getting a hit. Yep, yep, yep. Come on, take it. There he is. Fish on. Feels like a little snapper. Yep, little snapper snapper. At least I know I'm on the structure. See ya. There we go, fish on, fish on. Yeah, another snapper, see ya. There we go, there we go, that's a good one. That's a good fish, that's a good one. He was out there a little bit deeper. That's a decent fish there. That's a good sheep's head, there we go. We got a sheeper here. We got another keeper sheeper. We are getting rocked and rolled by the waves, man. Wow. That's a good one right there, baby. Heck yeah. All right. Number two in the box. Nice. All right. My plan's working. Two keeper sheepers. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's the one I've been waiting for right there. That's a good fish. Come on around here, dude. Look, big old grunt. Big old grunt. We'll take that guy any day. Big white grunt. Nice. All right, guys. Well, my remote control is shut down. It absolutely refuses to come on. It's another morning, you guys. I'm out here in the past. I got my motor issue fixed. The batteries were just really weak on the remote control, causing the functions not to work right. Anyway, I ended up paddling yesterday for a little while, but I got four dozen shrimp today. The tide's getting ready to turn around. We're gonna jig for Pompano first because we got low winds this morning, and then we're gonna get out, see if we can get some sheep's head, black drum, mangrove snapper, whatever we can find. So let's do it. And start out throwing the silly jig and teaser. That's about a 3 8 ounce. The tide is not moving very fast. You generally match the ounce of the jig to the current. You want to just keep this thing bouncing on the bottom. Fish on. Fish on. Here we go. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Spot lock it. Oh, it's a lady fish. Dang it, man. 
<laughs> oh, he lost him. Oh, he broke me off, you little sucker. Dang it, he took my jig, man. Fish on. Fish on. There we go. Spot lock. Don't give him slack. And it does not feel like a pompano at all. What do we got? A squirrel fish, otherwise known as a uh, sand perch. See? We want us a pompano today. Come on, pompano. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Where are you at? I missed one. I missed one messing around up here. There he is. There we go. That's a good fish. That's a good one. Big lady fish. Big lady lady. Fish on! Woohoo! Yeah! I'm having a good morning so far. Ho! Oh, he's putting on a show. He's putting on a show. Nice. Come on, little guy. See ya. All right, we got another one. All right, guys, we're starting off pretty good here. I don't know, I was sheep's head fishing with this rod apparently. I got 15 pound test on here. When it was really, the water was really clear, I bumped down to 15 pound test over there on that bridge I was fishing on. And uh, that's that's twice now, the first lady fish broke me off. And then that one right there, just the jig, the, the line broke whenever I got into the, the boat. So I got to rig up with some 20 pound test here. 15 is just not going to get it with these ladyfish. We always have lots of jigs and teasers, man. One thing you lose a lot of when you're pompano fishing, jigs and teasers. You lose a bunch of them. There we go. We're ready to rock and roll. That's tied on with the canoe man loop knot. I just put both of them on, on the loop knot. Come on, pompano! Where you at, Pomp? Pomp or Omp? You know what I would take today? I would take a big old fat sail cat. I'd take that dude home and cook him up. I wanted to try sail cat either pan seared or blackened. Oh, there we go. That's a good one. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh, might be a pomp. Might be a pomp. He's swimming fast, guys. It's a good one. Might be a pomp. He was swimming fast. Another big lady fish. Dang it. And he broke me off. Ugh. Cast it out there. Just watch your line till you see slack in your line. That means it hit the bottom. There it is. Oh, it's deep out there. This might be the pompano spot here. And then just bounce it on the bottom. Man, it was ridiculous when I was out here yesterday at like noon. The boat traffic. Oh my God, I just missed him. There he is. There we go. Got him. Come on. Don't be another big old lady fish. Yeah, another lady. Another lady, lady. That's all right. My buddy would tell me I'm not bouncing it on the bottom, but I am bouncing it on the bottom. Oh, he got me wet. Apparently there's just a bunch of ladyfish out there. Nice. Water's nice and clear. Don't get me wet, girl. See ya. All right. All right, the jigging bike kind of slowed down, but I was cruising through here and I saw some sheep's head right up in here. Come on, Mr. Sheepy. I got a shrimp for you. I got a shrimp for you. Four or five big ones too. All right, nothing. Oh, dude, yeah, just drop, drop it in there. 
cool. Thanks, man. Jerky, something oh, like that. Awesome. Appreciate it. I, uh, Appreciate it. I fish here my whole life. Yeah. Way cool, man. Subscriber just stopped and said hi, Charles. And I never met him before. He said he's been watching the channel forever. Gave me a little care package. Some water, some beef jerky, and some, uh, I don't know, some kind of trail mix nuts. Cool, man. Awesome. I have the best subscribers, you guys. I'm gonna drop us a shrimp here. Yeah, there's definitely some structure down there. I can feel it. Oh, that's a, that's a, oh man, that was a good fish. That was a good fish, son of a gun, man. Oh, that was a good hit right under the kayak. You think it's possible I stopped right on top of a sheep's head hole? There he is, there he is, that's a good hit. That's a good hit, that's a good hit, there we go. Fish on, that's a good one. That's a good one, that's a sheeper. That's a big sheeper. Yeah, buddy. We got the sheepers. We got the sheepers right under the kayak. Nice. Oh yeah. Keeper sheeper. What are the chances I would just randomly stop out here and there's sheep's head right under the kayak? <laughs> That's crazy, guys. I don't have a depth finder or anything. I just randomly stopped out here. I see boats that fish way out from the seawall, and I just randomly stopped out here. I just had two nice hits. Sweet. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. All we had to do was just move back a little bit. I think I was just off the mark a little bit. That's another good one. That's another good one. Might be a keeper. Might be another keeper sheeper. Little guy's a little short. It's about 11 and three quarter. See ya. Hi guys, so it was weird. I pulled up here, boom, boom. I got two really nice hits on the spot lock and then I didn't get any more. So I just dropped back about 20 feet and bam, I just had two hits and one of them was a sheeper. Oh, that's a good hit. That's a real hit there. That's a real hit. There we go. That's a real hit. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one there. He was way out there too, man. I'm off of him. I'm off of him. There we go. That's going to be a keeper sheeper. Come on in here, dude. That's a good keeper there. That's a good keeper there. Nice. Got us another keeper sheeper. I love it. All right, guys, we're making a long move. It's been super slow. I got two keeper sheep's head. The tide never really picked up really fast. So, pompano jigging just, yeah, no luck with that. But I got two keepers. That's good. So I'm going to make a run here. The wind is supposed to kick up to like 20 miles an hour this afternoon. Gusts, it's already, already starting to push pretty good. But I got a spot I like to fish way up here. So I'm going to head up there. See if we can't get on something. That's a good hit. That's a good hit. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good fish. That's a good one. I waited a long time for this guy. Wow, he hit a little shrimp tail. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's been hours since I caught a sheep's head. <laughs> nice. Nice. I was just cruising over right here, and I noticed a black spot out away from the shore. Dropped it down there, and bazam, gotcha, baby. Nice. Nice, nice. <coughs> Do we have another one down there? Let's see. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, as soon as it hit the bottom. Oh, I think I found me a sheep's head hole. Look at that, look at that, another keeper sheeper. Another keeper sheeper, second drop, baby. Second drop, that's a tank there. Woo hoo, nice. Back to back sheeps. This is crazy, guys. This is why I break the tails off of my shrimp. I never, I hardly ever fish with an entire shrimp when I'm fishing for a sheep's head. I break the tails off. When I run out of live shrimp, I have a bucket full of tails. I just caught both of those sheep's head on tails. Nice. There he is. Oh my God. <laughs> I found the sheep's head hole. I found the sheep's head hole. <laughs> I finally found the little guys. I've been out here for hours. <laughs> nice. The sheep's head bite is on. We got a fellow 
Republican fight. Uh -huh.